First, I'd like to bring up uh, Matt Knopf. He's e-discovery counsel at CDS, a longtime friend and relativity partner, so he can show us how like Nine has like, helped uh, impact his business. Thanks. So thanks for doing this, man. We very much appreciate it. Thank you for having me and having us to tell our story. Okay, cool. So what's your role over at CDS? I am e-discovery counsel, and in my role at CDS, I'm counsel to CDS to make sure that we practice what we preach. Uh, to our clients, I'm an e-discovery and data privacy consultant. So just making sure that all of our clients' goals can be actualized using technology. Oh, cool. Cool. So earlier this year, you guys actually, uh, actually over the past 12 months, you, you started to adopt uh, more and more of our technologies. And uh, specifically, relativity processing, you started to adopt it in a, in a really big way, actually making it your, your, your primary processing tool. You did. And, uh, and just this summer, and just this summer, you guys have like uh, hustled over 90 terabytes of data, putting over 221 million documents into uh, into review. Uh, can, how can you can you tell us how like uh, you know using more of our technology has impacted your and helped your business? Well, it, it's helped our business in numerous ways. We're we're a full service provider, and what the relativity stack has allowed us to do, and we were the first partner to go in all in on the full relativity stack. It's engage our clients across the EDRM. And, uh, and turn solutions into action items on which we can execute uh, using the technology all in one platform. Mm. And, and looking at these numbers, um, they, they at first glance, they represent speed, capacity, scalability. Yeah. But what, uh, if you peel back the onion, the real story they represent is, is the flexibility of the platform and how that flexibility actually complements the expertise and creativity of our engineers, our project managers, and our consultants. And what I like about it is despite the fact that we all use relativity, we've been able to really differentiate ourselves in the marketplace, and that's helped us get some really big wins. Uh, that's cool. I think it's a big part of like, how we build the software is it's like uh, a bunch of building blocks, a lot of configurability, and it really requires an expert to get the most out of it. Definitely. I mean, it's definitely important about uh, who's behind the scenes pushing the buttons. You know, you can um, give 10 different people the, the Chevy that Dale Earnhardt Jr. drives, but they're not going to all win the Daytona 500. Yeah, that's true. You know, if you uh, give 100 different partners relativity, they're going to implement that in 100 different ways. Yeah, cool. You guys have like, worked on some really heinous projects over, <laughs> the, uh, over the past few months, and they're really, really impressive. Can you... Can you Tell us more about it. Sure, sure. I'll go through each one of these case studies. Now, this first case was an international products liability case. We are an international provider. And uh, there was uh, numerous challenges that we faced in this case. Uh, the data set that we had identified during the preservation stage was just unbelievably massive. And we had to find a way to narrow the scope of this case. And even using targeted collections, we, had to, we narrowed scope to 27.3 terabytes. Wow. We ended up processing 15 of those terabytes. Wow. And, and when I talk about processing, you know, vendors always talk about the speed. We can do a terabyte a day, two terabytes a day. But what we really want to change the conversation to is getting documents to the end user. Yeah. Um, so we had one of these uh, Mission Impossible style deadlines. Once we finished collection, we had two weeks to begin productions. Oh, wow. Now, the, the issue with that was we really wanted to give our client transparency into that entire data set. Um, so we went all in with, with relativity processing, and, and the speed was just amazing. Now, we did have an issue where some files were erroring out, yep. and essentially when we were trying to find those errors, the tool would rehash the document, oh boy. not realize it's a duplicate, and publish it. Oh. But what was, what was great about actually having that problem is that it, it, it was a first experience for me because we were able to fix it very quickly. You guys sent a, a patch and some engineers on site. Oh yeah, Sora was on site for like weeks. Exactly, right? It was, it was a great time for all involved. Yeah. And, but the thing was, was, was <laughs> that, that problem, it was a total afterthought. And, and I'm not joking when the calls we had with the client, that was 30 seconds at the beginning, and then they were just thrilled with how we were able to move through this data so quickly because the end client was taking a big beating in the press mm. and we didn't want to exacerbate that by not overly complying yeah. with our discovery obligations and the speed really helped us do that. Oh, that's great to hear. That's great to hear and thanks for being patient as we worked with some of those issues. It, it happened really quick. It was fixed in so a nice couple weeks. So, um, the Let's second with the second study. request. Yeah, th this one was another Mission Impossible five days. style case. Wow. Yep, and that's, that's five days to publication. So um, in, in that case, um, not just the volume of cases, about 5 million documents that we had uh, published, but we also ran the analytics index uh, we called using inventory. 
Um, the the uh, zero footprint viewer that you just mentioned, mm. that was actually a big part of kind of closing the deal. Mm. The way that this case was set up, the client was really sensitive with uh, data security, mm. and that really helped us. Um, one thing too about that collaborative community you talk about, this case actually led to some of the, the upgrades and the worker allocation, uh. um, and you guys were great in terms of you know helping us and collaborating together to help help uh, generate yeah, they, those upgrades. They were like, if, if we need this functionality to be able to know what's going on, and yeah, it's, we, we built that this for you guys. Is fantastic. Fantastic. Um, and I can move on to that third yeah, case study. Yeah, the big one. So this is my favorite one. Now, the, this first case was the single largest processing job we had ever done. Uh, we had managed larger cases, but this was the single largest one. And then the next one was then the next largest one. So we yeah. had this increase in our ability to handle oh, data so sizes. Like, uh, just, just you're just like one up in each other. Yeah, every we're project. you know really confident in the tool, <laughs> but with this one, the reason I like it so much, it has my favorite part of the stack, which is relativity collection, hmm. and. The, what, the unique thing was about this case, we had, a, we had a six terabyte data store that 500 users were accessing and interacting like with. Like a file share? Exa exactly, but, okay. but there was no custodial values. Okay. So traditionally, what would you do? You'd either process everything, but that can be really expensive. Yep. You would give the client some janky file listing and some non-user friendly spreadsheet and say, do some unintelligent culling. Yeah. You probably wouldn't say that, <laughs> but they would, they would end up doing that. Um, or you would try and maybe call at the point of collection, but you might miss non-searchable items and things of that nature. So what Scout allowed us to do was it gave us the opportunity to have the client interact with that non-custodial data store with a much more data-rich deliverable. Mm. So they would have file name, location, uh, folder structure, and we could do some real culling without having to process the data first. So uh, it, it was really important for us to have that solution, and we're using it more and more now um, every day. Um, one thing I wanted to do was um, give a shout to uh, Milton Cervantes, who's our director of product, uh, product strategy. And Milton will be uh, hosting a workshop uh, yeah. today at 11 yeah. and tomorrow at 2 on, on Relativity Collection and Scout. So if you want to find a way to improve collections efforts or really open up the left side of the EDRM, uh, definitely check out that session. Cool. Well, thanks, man, for your time. That's These are it. great stories. Thank you, Andrew. All right. Take care.